today's video is going to be a little different. I have two goals basically, and that is I want to smile more when I'm playing. Now I look back at all the videos and it seems like I'm not a very friendly person or I'm just kind of out of it. So I'm going to try and smile. And the second is in Violoncello and its History by Joseph Vasilevsky, I'm up to the 19th century in Italy. So I'll be sight reading or, or very nearly sight reading. I looked at many of these pieces already just looking to see what I could play. So I've got cellist composers by the names of Roncini, Quarenghi, uh, Alfredo Piatti, Braga. I'll put them there on, as a title as well. So first up is a cellist by the name of Ron, Ronchini, R-O-N-C-H-I-N-I, -I, Ronchini, and this is from a set of miniatures and number five mazurka, and it's the only one from this set of mazurkas that I could find so far for free anyway. And it's just one little page. So here we go, smile and reading the music for the first time basically. pretty good smiling as I went along but time will tell as I go back to review the footage so I don't plan on cutting any of this just so you know and just putting it up there right now I've got about uh, got about two hours of time so I'm planning on using at least an hour of that right now and this is going to be largely uncut but I will put some titles and uh, maybe some little tidbits of information about the style of music or the composer in question. All right here's another Ronchini and this is very cool because it's an arrangement of uh, a Purcell um, suite. Right? right over here I'm going to put the titles of the movements. Thank you. 
footage looks like I probably look like I'm going through all sorts of emotions but maybe it's normal <laughs> all right another horn pipe Thank you. 
to keep the face in a happy state. Ah, little sweet tea. All right, that does it for Ronchini for now. Now there's a, a guy named Kvarengi. I guess that's how you say it. And interestingly enough, he wrote a method or... I don't know, more like a practical method where there's very little talking at the beginning and mostly exercises. And they don't, they start off really easy, but interestingly enough, they, they rather delve into the, uh, the world of polyphony. So you've got um, Tannen and Fugue and such. And, and he states that at the beginning. I'm going to, I'm going to go down past all of that. He's got some uh, what he calls lessons, which are cello solos with a piano accompaniment. And there are some sets of duets as well. And I'm going to go to the third duet and read uh, probably two pages of it. They're pretty lengthy. And for, for one, you know what? I just changed my mind. The whole point of this video is to sight read, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, here it is. Ter Duetto Terzo. Let me check to make sure my recording is still good. Oh, it's going to be a massive recording. Okay. <laughs> it's already been 21 minutes, and I'm, I'm at almost 2 gigabytes. All right, here we go. Maybe not yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
movement.
That kind of feels a little bit like Romberg via Italy a hundred years later or so. But I can see where it might be pleasing to play that up the tempo. All right, the second movement is an andante. Let's see how this goes.
Now it's an allegretto, but I need to turn on my fan because it is. I'll I'll cut this out. Ah. We're at almost forty minutes and three gigabytes. All right. I'm gonna leave the fan on. It is what it is. finish it I'm known for giving up so I'm gonna try and break that reputation There's no key change. 
What happened? Or they completely forgot to put the... For one whole page, they forgot to put that uh, D major T signature there. <laughs> an allegro vivo very oh yes the the end is imminent <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
tough. All right. I still have, uh, that took me an hour to do that much. All right, now is another arrangement. Um, Alfredo Piatti is a really famous cellist composer from Italy of the 1800s. And every cellist knows his, his caprices. Uh, he wrote a lot of other music as well, but this is an arrangement of a Christopher Simpson um, viol de gamba piece. And I mentioned him very briefly in the preface, the, the, um, the, the preface of the book, Violoncello and its History. So he was one of those composers that were early on adapted for cello players, as were most viola da gamba uh, composers' music. Anyway, these are 13 divisions, so nice English uh, name, divisions. Uh, I guess kind of, in a way, you could just say that they're variations based on, ex on the same chord progression, and here is the chord progression, right here.
13th Division. <laughs> Okay, now on to Braga, and we've almost got one hour and five gigabytes. Huh. Biggest type I've ever done, I, I guess, at least for upload. So, Jailano Braga, this is a Neapolitan versus. Let's see. And Braga wrote some other very interesting things, but they are virtuosic, just like the previous one. All right, keep that smile. I know I wasn't smiling very much in the last one. <laughs> doing this for myself because I am notoriously uncomfortable with myself and putting myself out there and you know what I'll if I'm really honest most of the things that I've put up there is really really crappy stuff you know I, I well I'm not playing very well um, and I'm so worried about people judging me but I don't even have to worry about that because nobody's watching <laughs> well I should say the few of you that are watching are not nobodies, but in comparison to what my goals are. Anyway, continuing on. So this is this is just to put myself out there and to and to build build a little bit of confidence and go out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Thank you. 
harmonics. I'm one of those many that just gets freaked out by harmonics as soon as I see them. Here's a capriccio by Quarenghi. And uh, I'm going to skip that one and go to a Piatti supplication. The Quarenghi, I just, oh my goodness, one hour, one hour in and I am almost shot. That's how much little playing I, how little playing I do. Hey, anyway, this is, this is a supplication, a bitte, or an entreaty by Alfredo Piatti. And I think this is an ex a good example of the, so I read a little bit, but I think it's a good example of the cellist composers of this era trying not to be showy. He <laughs> doesn't succeed very, very well, but it's a good effort, A for effort. So he keeps it mostly under wraps, but still he could tone it down a little bit.
now for my next video now for the next video that I do I have an idea about regarding Goltermann you know getting out of your shell it's not easy you've your your most of your life you've spent in your shell and uh, I've been in a very huge recluse for the last uh, three years especially the last three years but uh, pretty much for the last six years a giant recluse and if I go back even further like 10 years maybe 15 years of of not really doing a whole lot putting myself out there and making myself really super uncomfortable on a regular basis hey this is a video about pushing my comfort zone. So I try to make good content and when honestly, honestly, really truthfully, honestly, when I look at that content and listen to it, I'm not happy with it. It's something that I'm just, I'm so uncomfortable with, um, with it and I want to put content out there and I want people to watch it and I want people to enjoy it and uh, not you know not just for content but honestly I started it with the wrong intention you know I'm putting content out there because I want another stream of income and that's just it's it just doesn't work like I don't know how people do it that uh, they get out there and they they intend for it to be another stream of income, but at the same time, it's not their primary goal, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, well, it hasn't worked. For, for two and a half years, it's been a, an utter failure of a project as far as income. So zero income so far from this project. And I hope it that, uh, that the tides turn and that I can figure out a good formula. You know, I don't talk like this very, very much. And this video is so long that it's very likely that nobody is even going to bother watching but a couple seconds of it anyway. And, you know, and, and full disclosure, 99% of people that click on, on my videos watch um, between, oh, I would say, I think the statistics are about three to fifteen seconds, if that. So it's it's pretty pretty bad, and I and I don't really blame them. I mean, when you look at the content, it's it's pretty poor content, pretty pretty low quality. It's not engaging, and um, I really I, I'm really struggling to find of my voice. Right? I hope that I can find my voice, and uh, be comfortable in my own skin doing this. Because let's face it, times, uh, especially where I live, it's it's tough. It's tough, and uh, I simply don't want to do anything but music. And I've got to get comfortable, and I've got to work harder to get stuff, uh, even if it is in the realm of forgotten cello music. I've got to work harder to convince people that it's worth playing and worth listening to. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with one more um, sight reading, and this is a gavotte by um, Gluck. Or Gluck. Thank you.
for today. And, uh, you know, if you do make it this far, really, I'm, <laughs> I'm honored that you would do that. Uh, even if it's, even if it's my own family members, I'm still honored that you would sit through this entire thing or at least scroll ahead. So thank you to anybody, including family, family members in the past. I've thought I'm ashamed because basically just my family members and close friends are looking at my content, but you know what? Thank you. I really appreciate it. And keep watching so that I have at least a few viewers. And I'll keep striving to be uh, a better creator and have also a better sound cello.